subscribe subscribe what's going on guys subscribe to this channel if you haven't already but in today's video we're going to go over quickly how you can import references into your zbrush scene okay so i'm fairly i am fairly new to zbrush if you have seen my other video you should know this by now then in that video i go over every well i don't go over every single brush but in that video i show the results i got when i tested out every single brush in zbrush so if that sounds like something you want to see just go over to the other video check the channel and i will try to link that in the description below but if you don't see it in the description just check the channel and it should be there so uh what are we going over today today we're going to be going over how you can import reference a reference image into your file all right so one way you can import references is with a software called PureF. And I have a video on how to use PureF to view references. But in this video, we're going to be going over how you can view your references in ZBrush. If that sounds interesting, guys, let's do it. Okay, so in a fresh file, I'm going to add in a cylinder. You don't need to add this. I just feel like adding one. Add in a cylinder and I'm going to go into edit. All right. Now we're going to search for texture up here and we're going to import a texture and just look for the reference. Okay. I want to use this one, but I feel like I have to attribute the artist. So I'm just going to look for something that I know the name of the artist. Nope, 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 no. Nope. I have no idea the name of any artist right here. <laughs> so I'm going to pick one at random. Okay, let me use. Wow. I feel like we're wasting too much time on this. So I think this is by Danny Mac. Yep, this is by Danny Mac. So open this up. And nothing happens, of course. So we have to go back into texture here. I will just select this texture and just go over this and see where you have add to spotlight and click on add to spotlight. You can see the image pops up. Wow, this is beautiful. You can see the image pops up. Uh, much thanks to Danny Mac for this image. So we have this large dial here. So first thing you want to do is to go over to your brush and under samples, want to turn off spotlight projection. This is just because when you're sculpting, nothing will work if that is on. So just turn off spotlight projection. Okay, so we have different things right here. If you hover over all these things, you see we have rotate, we have scale, okay, and the dial just spins, nothing fancy. We have opacity somewhere here. So just go over all these things and you can see what they do. Opacity. Okay. And we can move the dial. This is basically the origin point. So if I move it here and, okay, I need to, if I move it here and I scale, you can see it scales at that point. So this is just the origin point. So most often than not, you will keep this at the center. And if I click on the image itself, then I can move the image and the dial together. Let's scale this down, move this off to the side. You can see that just follows. Now you can see we can't actually sculpt. Okay. So once you hit Z on your keyboard or Z, wherever you're from, Z or Z, on your keyboard and you can see we can start sculpting let's just make that a poly mesh 3d and you can see we can start sculpting okay now if you want to move your image again just hit z and just select the image and move it maybe to check uh, the scale of your object and just hit z again and you can start manipulating your geometry okay just to fit your reference. That is horrible. Just to fit your reference. All right. I hope this video was helpful. Like I said, I'm no expert, but these are the things I've learned so far and I just thought to share. So if you appreciate that and if you like that, do well to hit that subscribe button and I'll keep bringing more videos like this. But until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. I never take your time for granted. Do well to subscribe though and I'll see you in another video.